YouTube, what is up? Uh, today I'm going to bring you a mod. I'm going to review a mod that's been done. It's been done a while ago. It got pretty good reviews by other reviewers. However, I still think this mod's an underplayed mod. And uh, I ordered it totally on a whim by accident a couple weeks ago. Uh, they had a sale at vapewild.com. I need another uh, triple, as you can see in the background, a triple RTA. And uh, yeah, I saw this for 30 bucks, and I thought, what the hell? It's a resin funky a liter 160. So yeah, um, I'm a resin whore. I'm okay with that. It is what it is. If there's a resin mod out there, it's going to get got. Yeah. So anyway, I ordered this and uh, I've totally been enjoying this mod. I would not have bought it if it wasn't for the sale. But I would now. I would now. It's a good damn mod. Thing just... Hits like a freight train, man. Thing's awesome. It hits, has an instant fire that we love. Yeah, it's a damn good mod. Um, you can get it from vapewild.com right now. It's 45 bucks. I got it for 30 I'll kind of tell you maybe how you can get it for 30 Yeah, maybe. Hopefully. Anyway, we'll go over that at the end of the video. Um, let's dive down up close, take a look at this. I have a little matchy-matchy pyro going on with the rainbow. All right, let's dive down up close and uh, talk about this bad boy. Okay, this is the box your uh, Funky 160 a liter will come in. As you can see, it's kind of a cool little box. has the cutouts and shows your resin uh, panel there. Now, with, when you order this mod, you do not get to choose your resin panels. Um, you get to choose the body. Like in this one, it's the rainbow. That on Vapewild, they have the uh, stainless steel and gunmetal. But you do not get to choose what color panels. However... One thing uh, a leader in Vapewild has been really good at is they have several panels you can choose from on Vapewild.com. Um, the panels cost about 10 bucks, so they're very fair. I will say they're not the super high quality panels like you would get in, a, I don't know, the Cartel Revenant. How it has a rubbery feel to it. However, they're very sturdy. I've dropped it. I've dropped the panels. I've had no issues with the panels. Um, so yeah, you can get different color panels, pretty simple at a pretty affordable price. Now, when you get it, it'll come in this little box here. It says funky 160 around the horn. You got your, uh, authenticity sticker. It does have a water resistant display, which, uh, I contacted Vapewild and they have, he assured me he's tested this numerous times and, uh, that's kind of cool. So it does temp control power mode. And it does have two amp onboard charging. I do not have the equipment to test this. However, I can tell you it charges very fast and it seems very balanced. So with that being said, uh, it also has a user manual in there. It, has a, it says it has a USB cable. I did not get a USB cable in my box. So uh, from what I understand, it's a pretty standard one that everybody has. However, that can kind of be a fault. But anyway, moving on, you open your box. Uh, I have my battery wrap out here because this thing is impossible to get out of there. So yeah, inside the box, you're supposed to have your USB cable, which I didn't. You also get your manual, which is a very good extensive manual, as well as the warranty sticker. Now, on the back here, you can see uh, the gunmetal silver, and it looks like they have a copper version. I did not see an option for this on Vapewild. I do think you can get this from a leader. Um, also the resin panels look very colorful in this picture. So I don't know if that's new or whatever. Uh, I did go on the leader website and it seems like you can get those, uh, in the different colors. So anyway, that's that. Moving on to the star of the show. All right. This will be your, uh, a funky leader 160. As I mentioned, both these panels are removable. Um, they feel pretty sturdy. But it's kind of cool. They're customizable. I will say that when you lock them in here or put them on the mod, there is zero movement with these panels. Not even a little bit. So they're very sturdy. I, I like that. Um, getting into the outer exterior of the mod. Up top you have a juice well. And I don't know if you can see that, but it is a very springy 510 pin. I've had zero problems with my any atomizers uh, fit and flush on the top. So it says, uh, designed by Vapewild inside the juice catch. Um, one thing about this mod, you can see the lip of the mod. It kind of has a 
There you go. You can kind of see it there. Protruding lip on the outside here. Um, one fault this mod does have is when I screw down a 24 millimeter or below, but particularly 24, you can see it does have a ever so slight overhang. Um, that is a fault to me in this mod. I don't understand why they didn't just move this 510 back a little bit. We would have gotten a 24 millimeter totally flush. A little more, we could even done 25. As you can see with the side, there is zero overhang with a little bit of room to spare. So yeah, that's kind of a fault. I don't really notice it, but for you OCD people out there, there is a little overhang. And for you guys who like to vape the larger atomizers, 20, 25 and above, really, you're going to have a noticeable overhang. So 24 is about the best this will handle. Continue around the mod, we have a leader on the back. We have battery ventilation on uh, top and bottom here. Now on the bottom, you got a laser engraved Vapewald. Vapewald and Aleter are the only two companies I've found that distribute this mod. So keep that in mind. Vapewald did help design this from my understanding. You do have battery ventilation there. On the front, you have your little happy face. Anyway, buttons are nice and flush. Uh, fits in your pocket, no problem. Fire button, it has one of these, I don't know, I, I'm, I think the Pulse Squawk Mod had this. Um, it's this, this fire button is better than the Pulse, however. It's very short throw. It's very clicky, very responsive. Whenever I, uh, the board on this thing, as soon as you hit that button, you're getting instant vape. I mean, it is very fast. Comparable to my Smoant and Vupu items. So, yeah, let's pop some batteries in this bad boy, talk about it a little bit. Before I do that, I wanted to point this out to you guys. I'm going to consider this another fault in the mod. I don't know if you can see they have these battery style clips that just kind of pressure your battery. I, I don't know what they're called. Positive pressure clips or something. It's not a spring loaded clip. But uh, these I traditionally have problems with tearing my battery wraps. Now they bend this one over enough inside here to where I have not had any problems with these tearing my battery wraps. However, I still don't like these because eventually over time, it's inevitable um, pressure is going to wear these things out. So I, I'm not a big fan of those. I wish they had done some type of spring loaded, but for the cost, I guess I get it. Um, you got your funky 160 with your shield number on top with the a liter string. All right, put a couple batteries in here. Now, when I put this other battery in, you'll see the a leader logo pop up. Now, although this menu, uh, access in this menu system is different, it, it's it's very easy once you get the grasp of it. I mean, it's it only has temperature control and power mode. There's no TCR curves or anything like that. Um, so yeah, it, it does it does its job. Now down here you have the two battery indicators, which I love. You have your uh, ohm reading and your puff counter, your amps, everything else you would want on here. Now, to get into the menu system, you simply hold both buttons down. And you'll see it start flashing. A quick press will move to the bottom, and that's where you can scroll through the uh, standard, um, soft, and powerful mode. Now, if you want to... Uh, well, let me get in here here. Now, if you're wanting into the temperature control mode, simply push that button. You go in the temperature control mode. Same way, a quick press. You can scroll between your materials, titanium, nickel, and stainless steel. So I will say I like the menu system, even though it is very different. Um, it works. A long press will get you out of the... I'm sorry, not a long press. <laughs> a double press of this button gets you out of the menu system. Um, let's screw the atomizer up top, and it will ask you, is this a new coil? As this is, I'm going to hit yes. And you can see it's reading 0.15 ohms, which I do have a 1.5 ohm build in here. Uh, and I verified this with my DNA mods, my... Uh, 
Yeehee mods. It's very accurate on its reading. I'm, I'm actually really impressed. Um, two amp charging, as I mentioned, it seems to do two amp charging. However, it does not have a vape while charging feature. You have to wait for it to charge. Even though it is a quick charge, you can't vape it while it charges. So that's about it for the mod itself. Let's jump back up and let's talk about some pros and cons and get done with this video. Dang. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was your funky a liter 160 watt or a liter funky 160 watt. Anyway, that was uh, your up close and personal with it. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I wanted to do this review simply because I feel like this mod is underplayed. I've been pissed off with uh, Vupu lately, and I, I just haven't liked the way they did Tony B on his Pulse 80 Watt project, as well as, well as Vandy Vape for that matter. Uh, I don't like it when companies start getting greedy, I guess. I'm not really sure. But I, I ditched my Vupu drag, and at the end of the day, I am a resin whore. I love resin mods. Uh it's just, they do it for me. I don't know. They have one. The Cartel Revenant came out and all that. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the panels I don't think are as good as, well, the Cartel doesn't have panels, but the resin doesn't seem as high quality. But this works just fine. So, pros and cons. I'm going to get into the cons first because uh, they'll be short and quick. I've enjoyed the hell out of this mod the past couple weeks. Um, cons. It, number one is going to be the ever so slight overhang. I, I do not like that. I don't know. It just seems to me they could have moved that 510 pin back a little bit and we would have been able to fit 25 millimeters on here even. Um, now I get you probably wouldn't ever get up to a 28 millimeter on this mod simply because of side overhang. And overall the mod's pretty small and compact. It, it reminds me a lot of the Pulse uh, Squonk mod. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't know why they did that. I don't like it. But, you know, I mean, with 24, it's definitely doable. Um, as I said, the Spyro's 24. I've been doing it all day long, all week long, for the past three weeks. And it's been working well for me. Uh, the battery connectors. I do not like that little clamp-style connector that can catch your battery wraps. Um, I wish they'd have done, like, a spring-loaded battery uh, point. I think those just work out better. Now, I haven't had a single issue with these in here, but I just know that over time, it's going to cause some problems. Uh, okay, I think that's all for the cons. I will say the paint on the bottom is slowly starting to wear off. <coughs> Excuse me. That is common uh, with most mods, especially these rainbow ones. I don't know why, but the paint does wear off the bottom just from sliding in out of your cup holders or on your table. That's just inevitable. It's going to happen. Um so I'm not really listening as a con. But pros. This thing has a shit ton of pros, man. I love the powerful mode. I love it. Um, most mods are coming out with that in this day and age. I know Tesla's been doing it forever. Smoant. Um, the Vupus did it. I, I love that powerful mode, man. They just they pack that punch and they hit so good. Um I also love the juice catch in there. Even though it fits flush, we still have a juice catch in there, and it, it does work. And I also like the uh, water or liquid resistant screen on there. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but VapeWild said they did test extensively, and it worked. And I'll I'll, I'll test it. I've spilled plenty of juice down the side uh, simply because uh, the thing is idiot proof. It keeps on working. So the fire button. The fire button has such a beautiful throw. It's short, sweet. It's just super clicky. So, yeah, it's really good. Um, temperature control. It does temperature control great. Um, it seems to be really accurate. I mean, it cuts off when it's supposed to cut off. I did the dry burn test on it. No dry burn. Uh, yeah, it does really well. What else do I love? The removable panels and that Vape Wild has panels. That's so big to me. I hear these companies come out all the time. We have upgradable firmware. We have uh, swappable panels. However, we don't have any of that shit available. <laughs> I will say Vape Wild does have these, $9.99. Oh, what else did I like about the mod? Um, the overall looks and design are great. No issues there. Uh, the two amp charging, wonderful. Um, we all know we get caught out there sometimes and we need that two amp charging and we have it here. I don't like the fact you can't vape while it's charging, but 
you know, they, it charges fast enough. No big deal. All right, cost. Right now, this is $44.99 at vapewild.com. <clears throat> I contacted Vapewild and asked them, do they run that $30 sale often? And they said they run it frequently. They didn't say often. So I don't know. Keep your eye peeled for it. They wanted me to remind you guys that, yes, they do run all kinds of sales. I know over Mother's Day, I think they had a 15% off sale. I've seen a 20% off everything. I've seen a 20% off one item. So, yeah, they have a lot of sales frequently. $30, this thing's a steal. $45, this thing's a steal. I love it. Um, yeah, I just kind of got this just as, hey, it's 30 bucks. Let's try it out. Uh, this thing's going to go into my daily lineup. Just simply because how good it vapes. So, lock my mod there. Let's try that again. So, yeah, excellent purchase. Vapewild.com, it's a Texas company. You always get little samples of their, their house juice with your purchases. Um, and they have pretty damn good juice. Shipping's outstanding. You'll In Oklahoma, I got this within a day and a half. So that's how fast shipping. I think pretty much nationwide, you're going to get it pretty quick. So yeah, uh, go to Vapewild.com, get you a Funky Leader 160. If you like this video, click the like button. If you uh, really like this video, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to come out with a lot more stuff. I want to start getting some stuff out there for you guys. I don't think there's enough videos out there that focus on uh, veterans and law enforcement. I'm, I'm going to start kind of targeting that uh, niche on the vape market. So get out there, support your veterans and law enforcement. And this was another presentation by Matt with Vape Break.